Uh, <laughs> okay, hello and welcome to the uh, third session of podcast number six, number sixty-nine, or whatever we're up to now. I'm not sure. <laughs> Sexual. Man. I'm Louis, and this is Kane, and Hi. we are the Martins. Um, and we are drinking coffee, and we're going to muse. Yes. Uh, if you're wondering what the growl of the, of the, of the podcast was, I was, uh, I was eating a cheese and onion crisp sandwich. Mmm, tasty. Healthy. Yeah. Healthy. Nutritious and delicious. Yeah, it's really good for you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we've actually got a little bit of structure to the show today. <coughs> we have for the first time. We did have a message from, so what was it again, Lauren Bonker? Barker? Uh, Lauren Baker? Slag. <gasps> oh, no, she's not really called that. Harsh. Oh, 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 she's not a slag. She, no, she sounds really nice. <laughs> no, 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 uh, uh, L- Lauren Breadbanker, that's the name. Lauren Breadbaker. Maker. Maker. Yeah, Breadmaker. Ah, oh, I see. Oh, that's ah, Baker. Baker. Yeah, that's Baker. Baker. Baker, Baker. Grow! Ooh, Baker, Baker. A Baker! Ooh! <laughs> um, what did she ask? <laughs> Um, she said something about uh, getting a copy of The Sun and discussing that. Oh, yeah. But I didn't want to overlap too much with um, Hawksby and Jacobs on TalkSport because they'd have a section called What a Waste of Ink, <laughs> where they go through The Sun and you go and you pick out stupid stories. Yeah, so um, what we've done, we've, we've gone very experimental with this. We've I like ta- this, I like this a lot. Uh, we've taken the Burroughs technique of uh, crewing up newspaper to sort of guess what the future news is going to be like. It's future news, people. So, uh, we have a collection of random nouns, random actions, and random people with just little snippets of paper in different cups, and uh, we're, we're, we're going to generate some random news and hope that it happens at some time in the future. Okay, well, I'm going to go first with the random news. Random news. That's the jingle. Random news! Random news. Okay, right, okay. This I thought it was future news. Future, future, future news. Future manoeuvre. Future news. <laughs> okay, right. The first name out of the hat, I've got Gaza. Gaza. So this story involves Gaza. Gaza. Uh, I'll get a couple of nouns on the go here. What have we got? Oh, yeah. <gasps> Gaza rapist. It's Gaza rapist. Um, or is it rapists? Rapists. Uh, let's hope something conjures up in this uh, random action section. Let me see what happens what here. Can what can you do got? to a rapist? Cash scandal. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Shit. Oh, what a dick. Right, right. so I'm going to just grab another noun because at the moment it's not making particular sense. So just to maybe qualify a bit more. Oh, okay. Rape. Gaza rapists looking good. Cash scandal. <laughs> so if, reckon, if we adjust that so it says rapist, yes. it's singular. So, rapist Gaza <laughs> is looking good in a cash scandal. <laughs> On Tuesday. <laughs> On Tuesday. <laughs> Alright. Uh, sh- sh- do you want to add any more? Do you want to I'm, I'm quite happy with that story. Uh, that, that's just one story. Uh, do, do you want another one? I'd like another story. Okay. Uh, let's see what other people have got. Um, Kate and Will. Kate and William. Kate and William. Um, Shot pals on CCTV. <laughs> 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 Crush dresser. What, what, what can, fell out with it? Uh, critical. <laughs> so uh, that's amazing. How does it make so much sense? I don't know. So Kate and Will's have shot pals on CCTV. They are now in a critical state. Uh, one of them was cross dresser. <laughs> right. I'm just going to take a picture of this. You know, so we can put it on the actual. Website, so and fit in a little Ethiopian child who I'll make clear. So people via an can actually see this is kind of it is paper. It's real. This is real, real news, people. Real future news, and these are these are the pots with the random stuff in. Did so look there we go. Photos, evidence. Right, I'm gonna I'm gonna get another story on the go here. Oh, future, news, people, future news. Are you ready? All right. Okay, I've got Sam Bin Laden. <laughs> right. <okay. laughs> this is funny already. Yeah. Uh, Ten quid? <laughs> no, it's, that's uh, yeah, it's no, it's a thousand. Ten, ten thousand. It's, uh, it's, it was oh, ten. No. Save. I'm looking at the wrong side. Ah, save Bin Laden. I think we've maybe saves a grand. <laughs> <laughs> What's this? A grand person. I see five guys and save Bin Laden. 
But that's says, 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 says. Oh, I think that's just bust. Oh, that's not a person. That's not a person. Oh, is it in people? Yeah. Oh, it should be in oh, nouns. Five. Cle- Nick Clegg. Says Nick Clegg. <laughs> Nick Clegg. You see five guys in Save Bin Laden says Nick Clegg. <laughs> I like how you have to make that clear. Because I didn't want to show you the new words. <laughs> Uh, there's a picture here of Emma Watson looking a little bit like Robert Patterson, but just to make it clear, Louis just wrote Emma Watson. It's only because on I, I, I can't remember her name. I'm going to get rid of this one because Bin Laden's dead and it's not making sense. As a future news article, it's kind of past because he's dead. Uh, so right, I'm going to go for this again. Okay, Robert. Well, I want Emma Watson. Involved. Right, Emma Watson. Um, yeah. Emma Watson. What's this one say? And Hugh Grant. And Hugh Grant, <laughs> three million pounds. Essex girl. <laughs> oh, uh, here we go. We've got something developing. I, I, can, I can understand what's going on. There's, there's, some, there's a theme. What's this say? Tortoises. <laughs> so Hugh Grant has paid Emma Watson, a well-known Essex girl, three million pounds in to- tortoises. <laughs> <laughs> So we've got rapist Gaza looking good in a cash scandal. Uh, Emma Watson and is paid by Hugh Grant three million pounds because she's an Essex girl. Balls up that story already. No, oh, you, you baller, you uncle. Oh. And um, <laughs> Kate Wills shot their friends on CCTV. They're all critical apart from a cross <laughs> And you, yeah, you could be argued that they acted out characters. <laughs> Say they really did. <laughs> 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 Cool. All right. Well, that was future news, peeps. Uh, what are you saying? It's uh, futuristic. I liked that. I liked that a lot. What's that? Uh, so um, I've got another question. Okay. Uh, off Nile. Uh, right so on then. Schmenen. Schmenen. Hair. Disgusting. Radio. Go on. Um, it was like, what do you think of theoretical physics? It's very theoretical. No. Yeah. Gotta be good at maths. Hmm. Well, it's one of the things about physics. It is purely theoretical. Mm. So there's no the kind of. Is it a waste of time to think too much about it? Uh-huh. If there's no actual definitive evidence one way or another. That's my take on it. What are you? What are you saying, Kane? Can you pops? Uh, I, I, I just find it fascinating. Um, it is fascinating, but the, with the whole kind of CERN and the. The collider, everything could, could like if they find this Higgs, is it a Higgs boson particle, or something like that? Because the math suggests it exists. So if it exists, it proves the physics. Yeah. It doesn't exist. It's, it's all bobbins. It's all bobbins, but but it proves the math still works that something has to exist in its place. Mm. So if it doesn't exist, physics as we know it is all wrong. So there's a lot, a lot of uh... there's all the wasted GCSEs out there. <laughs> 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 Jerks. It, uh, it's a very, it's a very quick science of doubt. It's, it's, uh, well, it's, it's, it's only... everything's at the speed of light, or very close to it. <laughs> <laughs> you see what I did there? <laughs> is that so bizarre, is it? Uh, that was a physics jerk. That was a physics guy. People have cut. Uh, oh, it's this coffee. It's Captain Coffee. It's like Coke. <laughs> That's yeah. why I call it Cokey. <laughs> Karaoke. Put a cup of Cove Cookie. Cove Cookie. Cove Cookie, baby. Kafka. Kafka. The Kafka slide. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I'm pretty hot. Oh. <laughs> Good. So, so what we did, we, we got criticised, didn't we? By uh, one Kylie Martin Hinchcliffe. Yeah, she said she said it was yawn with a capital Y. Yawn with a capital Y. Does do, does um, uh, ca- the case of a word genuinely change, like uh, how it's pronounced? Like if, it, if it, like if she just would have said yawn like normally, I still would have got the same message. So there's no really point of her saying. Did she spell the first yawn with a capital Y? Was it lowercase? No, 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 it's it was uppercase. It's a quite a bizarre statement. You, you know, it's really ironic about this whole thing. No. 
Uh, well, it's, it's quite boring, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> but this actual this segment, <laughs> this little bit. God, <laughs> yawn, but the cat's only got out wide. Yeah, yeah, you can, yeah, yeah. Send it to Buster, right? Yeah. Yeah, 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 Tori. Uh, I, th- I thought Buster Ryan sort of talks like, yeah, hey, and make sure everything we do is wrong. A bit like that. What? You just drowned in your own mouth. Yeah, man. Uncool. 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 Right, well, um, that's t- that's our ten minutes, baby. Yeah, it's top notch. Right, see you in a bit. Right, thanks for listening.